Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2005 Lexus GX GX 470 Replacing front brake pads, front brake rotors, front brake calipers 21 millimeter lug nuts All nuts and bolts are left to loosen right to tighten Break the lug nuts down on the ground, maybe a turn or two, then you can go ahead and jack it up. Use safety stands, protect yourself, get the vehicle off the ground, front tires off the ground, and take the tire off. You can turn the wheel to the left or the right as needed to work on the caliper, make it easier on yourself. A little clips here, a little spring here, probably take this, I think a 12 millimeter bolt here, take this so we can move this whole assembly with the steel line, two bolts back here. We'll take those off. We'll take these little clips out. Slide these pins through. If you're just replacing the brake pads, you can pick, take these pins out, collapse the pistons, and slide your new pads in here and put it back together. But we are, we are doing calipers. If you're replacing the calipers, of course you don't have to do this. You just take the caliper off. Use some screwdrivers and clap the pistons a little bit. And the pads just slide out. Like so, pretty easy. Just collapse the pistons as much as possible to slide the new brake pads in. If uh, money is super tight, otherwise you do want to collapse it still and. Uh, <clears throat> and that's maybe why we're replacing the uh, calipers if the pistons stuck. And if that happens, then you want to replace the calipers. So enough of that. You can unbolt that bolt up there and take this caliper and hang it to the side and get the rotor off. Looks like the rotor should just slide off here easy. I use a bungee cord to support the caliper until we take it all apart. You get your rotor machined or replaced. You put the new one on or the machined one back on. Sometimes put a lug nut on here will stabilize it and help put things back together. Got a new caliper, make sure the bleeder 
is on the top, not the bottom. Like this. We'll tighten those two bolts to 91 foot pounds. Ten millimeter. Try to make sure you do use good line wrenches. Cheap ones can just cause problems in stripping. clean this up as best you can, make sure it slides pretty free, then we can get it started by hand, hopefully here. It started real nice for me. Snug that down, really what you can do is uh, when you're all done, before you put the tire on or even after it's on, just clean this off really clean and dry and then step on the brakes and hold it down hard for 10 or 15 seconds and see if you see any leaking. If you don't see any leaking, it's probably going to be alright. If you see some leaking, tighten it up. I'll see if there's a torque spec for that. I'll just snug it down firmly and we'll bleed it, put our brake pads in. squealer here, we'll go in here, we'll take our pins out here, Oops. 
<laughs> Sorry. going to fight with getting these little uh, pieces into the holes here on each side. I'm going to open up this bleeder here, probably 8 millimeter, although they can change it up, so the size doesn't matter here, it's 8 or 10 usually. We'll open that up, let it gravity bleed a little bit, and then we'll have someone help us bleed brakes. Otherwise, if you're just doing brake pads and rotors, that is replacing your front brake pads and rotors on your 2005 and other model years, GX, Lexus, vehicle. So we're just going to open up this bleeder here. We'll just expect that gravity is going to do its job and pull some brake fluid flu through. And while we're waiting, we'll go up to the master cylinder. Make sure it's full. Here's the master cylinder. has a minimum and maximum line over here on the side. Looking good. We're at the maximum still. Take the cap off. Might help with the uh, gravity and atmospheric pressure, all that fancy stuff to get the fluid flowing. We'll just keep an eye on the level here. Top it off with dot three as necessary. Oh, dot three right on the cap it says, gives you some information there. We'll do the same for so both sides and we'll have someone help us. So what they're gonna do is step on the brakes four or five times, probably pump it up and down. And then they'll hold the brake pedal down and then we'll open up the bleeder and they'll feel, the, of course, their brake pedal, they'll feel it go down to the floor. And once it's down to the floor, we'll tighten this up, basically, and then they can let up and bump it four or five more times. So we'll open this up, we're looking for air to come out, or we want solid fluid to come out of here. Actually, so once we see solid fluid flowing once or twice, it's probably going to be good. And then we'll tighten this up permanently and that will be bleeding your front brakes in a nutshell. So I've gotten inside the vehicle and stepped on the brakes a few times myself. It does build up a little pressure. And we can open up the bleeder again here. Get things going pretty good. So I'll do this a couple times before I have someone come over. It just makes things quicker. I just like to pressure, use the foot pressure as a final bleeding step but if you were to close this step on the brakes a few times yourself open this step on the brakes a few times open this <clears throat> let it bleed a little bit then close it step on the brakes a few times you'll feel it pump up you'll feel better and uh, get out and open this up let it bleed a little bit close it you know do it five or six times there's a good chance you're going to do a good job of bleeding it yourself but best to have an assistant so We'll get someone in here and we'll do it a couple times and you'll see how it's done, basically. Alright, we got someone inside then. We're going to pump up the brakes. I don't know if you can see here, if you can see them moving or not, but you can see them actually moving when they pump it. Go ahead and pump it up. We're holding it down. Here we go. Open it up. It's a fluid flow. <clears throat> I 
Go ahead and pump it. And pump it. It's looking pretty good. Looks like a solid stream. Do that for the both sides. All right, uh, lug nuts are like 80 foot pounds on that. Tighten them in a crossing pattern. That would be good. Check your brake fluid level and top it off nothing or something. as needed. Or something else. And that is your front brake job on a Lexus, probably Toyota too. Front brake pads, rotors, calipers. And go ahead and use a garden hose, some water, some brake clean and clean off uh, the brake fluid from where it may have sprayed or spilled. So, one last step you can do, just rinse it off, take it for a test drive. Before you drive it or go anywhere, make sure you pump up the brakes and make sure they feel firm before you put it in gear.